The University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences, UAMS, is Arkansas's only comprehensive academic health center. Within UAMS sits our colleges of medicine, nursing, pharmacy, health professions, public health, and the graduate school. UAMS is also home to seven institutes, including the Psychiatric Research Institute, PRI, which houses the Division of Psychology and our pre-doctoral psychology internship. Interns receive year-long training in the assessment and treatment of individuals with a wide range of mental health disorders. Our internship has particular focus on trauma and stress-related disorders and how trauma presents across the continuum of care and has an influence on both physical and mental health. Interns will have the opportunity to work with patients across a wide range of treatment settings, each serving diverse populations. Intern applicants who demonstrate experience and interest in working with diverse populations are desired. The pre-doctoral internship is a key component of psychology training. At UAMS, we make sure to emphasize not only the training experiences that we can offer, but how you fit in with our culture and the team here at UAMS to provide you the best training experience that you can have. We thank you for looking into our program and hope that you enjoy learning more about our clinical psychology adult track rotations. Each of us is gonna be taking you on a virtual tour of the space that you're gonna be working in and take some time to tell you a little bit more about the populations that you might be working with and the strengths of each of our tracks. Um, our interns primarily spend most of their time in Walker Family doing individual therapy, and they really get to build their caseloads based on what their interests are, what their training needs are, and so there's a, a really unique opportunity in our internship site to really build a caseload based on what your interests and needs are. Uh, our interns often engage in group therapy as well, and so we offer lots of different types of groups and our interns may even have the opportunity to, to build a group if they have external expertise and experience that they can bring to the clinic. As the adult clinic for the psychiatry program within the UMS Medical Center, we serve a broad variety of patients, both in terms of demographics, in terms of the presenting issues. We take referrals from all of the clinics within the UMS, the general medicine, family practice clinics, internal medicine, as well as specialty clinics. We see a lot of anxiety and depression, and a lot of our folks have a history of trauma, so we keep a trauma-informed care approach. We also, in terms of treating trauma, we have the opportunity to, for our interns to receive training and supervision in cognitive processing therapy, prolonged exposure, and eye movement desensitization and reprocessing therapy. Um, we have trauma-informed groups, and so really everything that we're doing, as Dr. Everett said, is really thinking through a trauma lens, whether we're being trauma-informed or trauma-focused in our treatment. I'm Lisa Evans, I'm faculty at UAMS PRI. I supervise two rotations here at the internship program the Arkansas Children's Hospital Burn Unit and the UAMS Pulaski County Regional Crisis Stabilization Unit. I am interested in building and operating programs that help uh, give access to care for people with serious and persistent mental illness. In particular, I'm interested in helping divert people from the justice system, as well as helping identify people who have trauma history and trauma disorders and getting those issues effectively treated. I'm going to take you on a short tour of the Crisis Stabilization Unit. We serve adults here, 18 and over, and they're brought to us various ways. Come on in. Our mission, our, our, one of our biggest parts of our mission is serving people who encounter law enforcement in the community. And officers can bring them directly to us and we'll immediately get them into services right through this door and send the officer on their way. We also receive referrals from the community, the ER, homeless shelters, and other stakeholders and partners that we have. People present with lots of different issues, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, uh, substance use disorders, substance use psychosis, um, and of course, everyone ubiquitously often has a trauma history uh, that we can identify and get started in evidence-based care. Come on out to the patio. Turns, come on up. Take a look at our beautiful.
beautiful patio. Interns uh, do a variety of tasks for, at the crisis unit, work elbow to elbow with me and serving a very complicated population. So they spend some time in daily multidisciplinary staffing with our nurse practitioner, our nurses, our social workers, and we review the cases and figure out how we can best help people meet the recovery goals. And interns do that by providing a couple of different kinds of care. They will do individual interventions, in particular for people who have a trauma history and get diagnosed with PTSD, we can initiate written exposure therapy and evidence-based practice for trauma. They will provide group services for people who are at the unit, including different kinds of curriculum that address people meeting their recovery goals. They will do brief uh, psychological assessment uh, and a little bit of crisis stabilization too for those who need risk man management who are presenting with suicidal uh, type behaviors or other kinds of risk behaviors. Interns also provide training to team members here, um, particularly in trauma-informed approaches that help team members to address people who have a trauma history and assist them in meeting their recovery goals. So, Intern, we often ask interns for rise and training to team members. This is actually the intern space here that you see. One of the reasons I love working at the crisis unit is we have the opportunity to really help a lot of people who might not otherwise be helped and might not have access to care. It's always an interesting day. Something exciting always happens at the crisis unit. So there's lots of exposure to different things, that, uh, different kinds of diagnostic pictures and presentations and uh, we get to use a lot of different kinds of interventions. The intern sees adult burn patients for a variety of things, including uh, trauma related to the burn injury, pre-existing psychiatric conditions, uh, and a myriad of other things that come along with burn injuries, such as pain and pain management, uh, managing stress related to changes that have happened as a result of the burn, uh, family issues, and, and certainly grief. We're going to go inside here to the outpatient clinic. We work both on the outpatient clinic and in the inpatient burn unit at the Children's Hospital. So we'll take a look around at the outpatient clinic and then go upstairs to the inpatient unit. Both in the inpatient unit and the outpatient clinic, we do, do a variety of things. Here on the inpatient unit, we'll see the patient at bedside assess for any kind of psychiatric conditions that were pre-existing, talk to patients about trauma and post-traumatic stress disorder, give them some education about what to expect, and then we identify different types of issues they might be presenting with that we can provide a very brief intervention for, whether that's pain management, some mindfulness meditation to help during wound care, uh, or even just basic psychoeducation around how to manage stress, how to sleep better while you're in the hospital, and get to know them so that we can follow up with them in the outpatient clinic. We made it down to the outpatient clinic now where we work with a multidisciplinary team of surgeons, nurse practitioners, nurses, case management, social workers, and um, super fast paced. We go into the different clinic rooms and quickly see the patient, evaluate the patient, and see what we need to provide in terms of psychological intervention. One of the most fun things about working here is this really dynamic group of providers and staff that we work with. They keep the day really exciting and fun, and we just love working with this team. Uh, I really also love the meaningful work of really, sometimes we're the only psychological intervention or mental health support that people at the burn unit have or have ever had, and they really need it. So we can get a lot done in a very short amount of time with the people that we work with here. Hi, my name is Dr. Melissa Zielinski. I'm an assistant professor and a clinical psychologist here at the Psychiatric Research Institute at UAMS. I'm the primary supervisor for the Hawkins unit rotation, which is a rotation that's focused on working with women who are in prison. So women who are incarcerated have extremely high rates of uh, experiencing traumatic stress and uh, problems as a result of experiencing traumatic stress like PTSD, substance use disorders, um, and other mental health disorders like depression, for example, and borderline personality disorder. And so in Hawkins, we work with women around those traumatic stress sequelae um, by providing groups. 
And so interns on this rotation really focus on the provision of group therapy. It's a feasible and familiar kind of modality for prisons and uh, also allows us to maximize how many people that we work with. Groups that the interns run on this uh, rotation have really varied from year to year based on intern uh, training goals and facility needs. At present, the main, uh, main foci we have are running a dialectical behavior therapy skills group that's offered in a very didactic and larger group format. Um, we also run a cognitive processing therapy group in the standard format of a small closed group. And we offer a support group for women who are incarcerated while they are pregnant or during the postpartum period. Interns really have an opportunity to develop their group therapy skills through this rotation um, and you know, initially co-lead and then eventually lead their own groups, just depending upon level of familiarity and comfort. I find this um, setting and service area to be incredibly rewarding. Um, I did not myself go into psychology thinking that I would work with people that are incarcerated and actually also had a rotation, a training rotation that was in a women's prison. And once I saw the need, I just uh, really have not been able to look back. And so I know that many people that are applying will not have experience working, uh, providing services um, in prisons, jails, or similar facilities. But um, I would encourage you to keep an open mind. Um, I have just found it to be incredibly rewarding um, to reach a population that often doesn't have access to good quality mental health care. Another neat thing that I would tell you about the rotation and in closing is that um, this rotation has a lot of opportunity to do program development and evaluation. Um, I am actually a, a researcher primarily and really work at this intersection of service delivery um, to trauma survivors in carceral settings like prisons and jails. And so interns in the past have really appreciated getting an opportunity to participate in those aspects of the Hawkins unit rotation. In addition to our core training experiences, we do offer elective rotations for interns with prior clinical experience. If you're interested in learning more about our elective rotations, please feel free to contact the rotation supervisor for more information. On behalf of the UAMS Adult Track Training Committee, we hope that you found this video informative and that you're excited about the training opportunities that we offer at UAMS. Thank you for considering UAMS for your pre-doctoral psychology training. We look forward to meeting you.